Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and today I'm going to show you how to build four different fountains in Minecraft, ranging from the simplest of designs all the way up to something that is much more complex. Hopefully at least one of these will fit nicely into your world. So I'm going to be building all of these fountains out of stone brick blocks, but of course you're more than welcome to use a different type of block, just make sure whatever it is you're using you're going to have access to slabs, stairs and walls. Also, if you are going to be building this fountain out of stone bricks like I'm going to be, you may also want to add some stone variants into the mix to get a little bit of texture. You can use some cobblestone, andesite, cracked stone bricks, mossy stone bricks, all that sort of thing. It's just going to make the fountain feel a little bit more aged. However, in the tutorial here, just to keep it simple, I'm only going to be using stone bricks. For the first fountain we're going to start with a chiseled stone brick in the center with a full stone brick on top and then a wall on top of that one. Of course if you're not using stone bricks you can just use any block for the bottom one, it doesn't have to be a chiseled variant, I just like the little bit of detail. We're then going to dig out a 3x3 three three square around the fountain base and just cover up the floor like that. And then in the center of all of these sides, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick slab. And then on all of the other spots, two on every side is going to be a stair facing outwards. And that is the actual fountain all built. All we have left to do is place down the water. So we're going to waterlog the wall itself. And we're also going to place it on the block above. For the second fountain we're going to start with a stone brick block in the center and then we're going to place down one, two, three more on top of it so we should have four stone brick blocks and then we're going to have a stone brick wall on the top block. Then coming down to the third block up we're going to have four upside down stairs poking outwards just like that on all of the sides. Then what we can do on this bottom block, one block out diagonally on all four of the corners, we're going to have ourselves a chiseled stone brick block just like that. Then what we need to do on all of these corners again is place down two stairs so that the corner of the block here on the outside is shown like that. So just make sure once they're all done you should have something that looks like this for all of the corners. Then what you can do is in this middle gap here for all four sides, very simply just go ahead and place down a slab and then next to that slab we're going to have ourselves two stairs just like we did for the first fountain over there. And before we place in the water, we want to go ahead and take this floor down by another level, getting rid of all of these blocks, including the one in the center here. And we're actually going to replace that with a chiseled stone brick block. We also want to get rid of all of the blocks in the wall here, and we're going to replace them with some regular stone bricks. Just like that. And then we're going to do the same with the floor, just so we don't have any of this dirt on show. There we go, looking very neat with no grass or dirt on show, only stone bricks. All that we have left to do is place in our water and we're going to do exactly what we did for the first one, waterlog the wall and then place another one on top. What you can also do is just go ahead and make this bottom layer into a solid water source, so just go ahead and place them two in each of the corners like that and it should look like it's no longer moving and it's actually beginning to fill up with water. Once again we are starting off with a single stone brick block in the center here and then we're going to have one either side of it on all four sides to make this plus shape. We're then going to come up by five in the center block so one, two, three, four, five with another wall on the top block. Then once we've got our walls we're going to come down to the bottom here and we're just going to have two of them on all four sides just above this full block here. Then what we can do above these wall blocks is have another full block. So when we're all done with this we should have a pillar looking like mine is right here. And then in front of those full blocks on all four sides once again we're going to have an upside down stair. And then next to all of those stairs we're going to have two stone brick slabs. So that when we're all done we should have a bit of a circle shape on the top here with four holes as you can see. And then what we want to do on all of the corner spots is just place down two stairs pointing outwards. So there's one corner, there's two, there's three, and there is four. So this is what we should have now. 
the last thing to do for this clip is to just go ahead and place down a slab on the top part of that stair on all four sides. Now we can get started on the pool of the fountain, at least the outline of it. So what we're going to do on all of the sides is leave one, two, three, and on this fourth block here, we're going to place down a chiseled block, and you can do this on all of the sides at the same time. And then on top of that, we can place down a slab, then a full block next to it, two stairs next to those ones, and then another stair, but placed into the next stair. So you don't want to place it forwards, you want to look at this stair and place it down. So you should have something like this on all four of the sides. So now you should have something like this. The next step is to, on each of the corners here, go ahead and place in a slab right here to connect those blocks up. And just behind it here, going into the center, we're going to have two full blocks with two walls on top of that. And of course, you want to copy that round to the other three corners too. So just as we did with the fountain before, we're going to take the floor down by one block. And after that, we're going to remove all of the dirt blocks that we can see and replace them with some stone bricks. So this space should be two blocks deep. You shouldn't be able to jump out of it pretty much. So now what you can do is fill this in with water. You can either just do the bottom layer or you can fill in the whole thing doing the second layer too. I personally prefer it just with the bottom layer. It makes it look as though it's got more room to fill up. But if you want to go ahead and do that top layer, feel free to. As for the actual waterfall part of it, once again, we're going to waterlog this wall as well as the block on top of it. But as you can see, it only comes out of these sections at the bottom. We want it to come out of these parts too. So all we're going to do is waterlog these four slabs and it makes it look as though it's coming through that hole via the starting point at the top there. For the fourth and final fountain, we are going to start once again with a single block in the center here and we're going to bring this up so it's nine blocks high. So we've already got one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine blocks high. And on top of that one, at the very tip top, we're going to have another stone brick wall. We're going to come down to the bottom now. I'm going to have a full block on all four sides and on the corner blocks here, we're just going to have a stone brick slab. On top of the four blocks, we're going to have an upside down stair just like that. And on top of those stairs, we're going to have ourselves a wall block. Next up, on all of the corners here, just next to this slab, we're going to look at this block right here and break the two that are either side of it. So we should have something like that. And we're going to replace them with some chiseled stone bricks. And on top of both of these blocks, we're going to place down four stone brick walls just like that. And you want to do that on all four of the sides too. With all of those pillars in position, the next thing to do is to place a full block above all of these wall blocks right here, and then we're also going to place one in all four of the corners. What we can then do from each of the sides is place an upside down stone brick stair with a slab just in front of it. So slab, stair, or stair slab, sorry, I should say, on all of the sides, just like that. Then we can grab ourselves some stone brick stairs and we're going to place one next to this slab and one next to the stair on all of those spots. So each corner should look, it's kind of hard to see, but a little bit like this. So just to go over it again, you're going to place it next to the two slabs as well as next to the two stairs to look like that. Next up, we want to go ahead and place down two stone brick stairs on each of the walls and you want them pointing into each other just like this, as you can see I've done for all four of the corners. And then where they meet here, just at the top block, we're going to have a stone brick slab just like that. So from the outside, it basically looks like a full block. What we can then do is go ahead and add two full blocks next to the back of those stairs on all four sides just like that. So eight of those in total and then in the middle here we're going to have a stone brick slab on the top half of the block and like we did with the last one we're going to have some water going through there eventually. Next up we actually want to come to the inside of the fountain here and we're just going to place down four stairs pointing outwards on that bottom block on this second tier up here and then what we want to do on top of all of these slabs that we place down in the corner, we're going to place down two walls on top of all of those. And on top of those walls, we're going to have ourselves another slab in each corner. Next to these slabs, we're going to go ahead and place down two stairs facing outwards, just like that. And then in the middle of all of those stairs, we're going to go ahead and place ourselves a chiseled stone brick block. 
The last thing to do for this centerpiece right here is to place down three slabs underneath all four of the sides just like this, so underneath the chisel block as well as the two stairs either side of it. And lastly we just want to come to this top section here and next to the slabs we've just placed down in all four of the corners we're going to go ahead and place another one. Now we're going to get started on the bottom of the fountain here. So what we want to do is come out from this block here on all of the sides. One, two, three, four. And on the fifth block, we're going to place down a chiseled stone brick. So doing this on all four sides, as I said, four blocks away from that center block. Then what we can do is have two upside down stairs either side of it. And then we're going to have a stair placed into the block then one placed forwards and then we're going to place another stair into the stair again so this one should be curved round this one should be straight this one should be curved round this side just to go over it again you want to place it into the stair into the fountain and then into the stair again and you want to do that three more times and very simply for the corners here we're going to have two full blocks off the back of those stairs with a slab in the middle which i've already gone ahead and done for the other three corners too the next part is of course what we've done for the rest of the fountains in the video. We're going to take the floor down by a layer, remove all of the dirt blocks that we can see and replace them with the stone bricks. However, do make sure you leave those chisel blocks in place, we don't want to get rid of those. So now all we have left to do is add the water. So we're going to start off on the bottom level here, just doing the same as we did before with the previous fountain and filling in the bottom layer here completely with water. I would recommend doing this uh, in a bit more of a smart way unless you're in creative like I am here placing the water as I am right now is definitely not the most efficient way to go about it but it probably is the quickest so first step go ahead and fill that bottom layer with water Next up, we're going to come to the top of the fountain here and we're going to waterlog this wall as well as once again the block above it. Then we can head down to this middle tier right here and what we just need to do is actually waterlog those stairs. Not for the water's sake, but it doesn't look very good not having waterlog stairs. As you can see, you, you can see the air around it. So just go ahead and waterlog those four stairs. It shouldn't actually change much with the water, as I said. Next up, we need to go ahead and waterlog these four slabs on the outside. So just go ahead and get all of those central slabs. And we also need to go ahead and waterlog these slabs right here. So these are not full blocks, as you guys can remember. They are slabs. So go ahead and do that. And it should fall through the holes that we have right here. You can even do it from underneath if you would like. But personally, I think it's a little bit easier just clicking on that corner of the slab right there. So there we go everybody, that is how you build four different levels of fountains in Minecraft. I really hope this video was helpful for all of you, let me know which build was your favourite or which build you're choosing to add to your survival world. It may depend on space, some of them are quite large. <laughs> Thank you everybody so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye for now.